channel for physics. Please subscribe my channel. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Today I would like to discuss the very interesting machine called centrifugal governor. A centrifugal governor is a device that uses centrifugal force to regulate the speed of an engine. Let's make a quick revision about centrifugal force. It is the apparent outward force on a mass that is undergoing circular motion. This force is a result of the body's inertia and not a physical force acting on it. You can experience different examples on centrifugal forces. It was first developed by James Watt in the late 18th century of use in a stream engine. The basic idea behind the centrifugal governor is that as the engine speed increases, centrifugal force causes two weighted arms to move outward. This movement is then used to control the engine's throttle which regulates the amount of fuel and air going into the engine. The science behind the centrifugal governor is based on the principle of centrifugal force which is the outward force that act on an object moving in a circle. As the engine speed increases, the weights on the governor arms move outward causing a linkage to move the throttle which decreases the flow of fuel to the engine. This in turn causes the engine speed to decrease until the weights move inward causing the linkage to increase the flow of fuel and stabilize the engine speed. Let's see the physics formula associated with the centrifugal force. One of the key formula you can see on the screen is F is equal to mv square over r where F is centrifugal force, m is the mass of the body, v is the velocity and r is the radius. This formula explains how the centrifugal governor is able to use centrifugal force to control the engine speed. You can see here on a screen there is a symbol called omega. Omega typically refers to the angular velocity of a rotating object. In the context of a centrifugal governor, the angular velocity of the governor weighted arms is directly related to the engine speed. As the engine speed increases, the weighted arms move outward increasing the angular velocity of the governor. This increased velocity in turn causes the throttle to close, decreasing the engine speed until the angular velocity of the governor stabilizes. So I can say that omega may not be directly associated with the centrifugal governor itself, but definitely it is a key factor in the governor's operation as it helps to regulate the engine speed. Let's talk about the real life application of this governor. There are a variety of real life applications for the centrifugal governor, including its uses in stream engine, as well as in modern engines such as those found in cars, ships and aircrafts. The governor is also used in various mechanical system to regulate the speed of rotating shaft. During my whole research on this topic, I couldn't find any specific criticism or deficiency related to the centrifugal governor. While there may be some criticism or shortcomings associated with the device, but still it is widely recognized as a significant invention that played a key role in the development of the steam engine and other mechanical system. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.